complex of climate change are a lot of nations and the world experience. Melting down of ice Very good. and water floods. Anybody else? Changes of uh, night, uh, like wind patterns and uh, different uh, temperatures are also increased. Okay, very good. Climatic conditions going why like to extreme and Climatic conditions going by like very extreme. Correct. So we are going to discuss a few. Uh, so now we have already talked about climate changes. Uh, but in a simplified manner, it is a concentration of greenhouse gases in the atmosphere which have significant impacts on not only humans but also the environment that we live in. Uh, so the first uh, uh, effect that we are going to discuss is hotter temperatures. Uh, global warming is responsible for this. The last decade, in fact, from 2011 to 2020, has been recorded as the warmest. Um, so, uh, with the increase of heat, there are a lot of problems which are faced not only with humans, animal life, as well as plant life. Uh, so, with the increase of temperature, the, it, there is also increase in population of pests, which is harmful for the plant life. Uh, so, what are some diseases which are caused to humans? Would anybody like to answer? Do you guys have any idea? Respiratory disease. Correct. Anybody else? You want? Heat stroke. Yes. Correct. Uh, yes. Uh, so, uh, skin diseases, heart related diseases, respiratory diseases, and acute problems could be like fatigue, fainting, heat stroke. Uh, Serious storms. Uh, so the intensity of storms has increased very significantly in many occasions over the last decade. Uh, water evaporation in the atmosphere is fuel for uh, powerful storms to be formed. Cyclones and hurricanes uh, feed on warm water. And uh, I think we all see uh, cyclones and hurricanes in news channels or we might at least read about them in newspapers. So they usually lead to destruction on high scales, not only uh, loss of the uh, human life, but also plant life, animal life, as well as infrastructure, and also disturb the economy. So sometimes uh, they also lead to poverty of a certain area, but sometimes they also lead to poverty of the whole nation. Uh, increased drop. So naturally, when the temperatures have increased, uh, evaporation takes place and a rapid rate, uh, which has led to water scarcity. Uh, there are a lot of people who cannot access drinking water and some of them have to travel miles to access it. Uh, it also leads to loss of vegetation because I think we all learned in our previous years that uh, plants have certain requirements of uh, sunlight as well as water. So when these requirements are exceeded, they can also harm the plant. Uh, so this has led to uh, loss of vegetation which leads to food insecurity. Uh, 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 drought also leads to stands, uh, sandstorms and dust storms leading to desertification. Uh, rise of sea levels. So I think we've all heard about this that uh, in the Antarctic and Arctic regions uh, the glaciers are melting and uh, there is a rise of sea level. Uh, this is not only a threat to the animal life that is present there as well as the coastal and island communities. Uh, so oceans actually absorb high amounts of carbon dioxide uh, which makes the water acidic, which is really harmful for the aquatic life and through fishing and consumption of these aquatic animals this can also cause adverse effects to humans. So uh, now we now uh, Anna is going to discuss a few solutions for these problems. Buying less items, less things, and only the ones you use. So 
in recent times, most of the eco-friendly products uh, have gained a lot of popularity and have been used as one of the must-haves. I now talk about a couple of the innovations which are being taken up. Do you recognize this detail? Thank you. 